Nice. And we top deck the nuts. Let's go. Okay. Dude, Silver Quill Command is so good. And I'm going to show you guys just why here in a second. Check this out. So Toshiro eats up the Luminarch. And then bada bing, bada boom. We draw a card. And they sacrifice their only Brutal Cathar, giving us back our <laughs> welcoming vampire. And that, my friends, is going to be good game. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm sure you've all heard the saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, that's kind of exactly what we're doing today. We're taking the old Blood Money Orzhov list and we're going to be tweaking it. And in my opinion, I think we've made this deck even better than it already was, which is crazy to say because it's a very good, consistent, grindy deck. But today it might just be that much better. And it's got a lot of really cool cards like Silver Quill Command that you don't see every day in Orzhov that I wish you did because... It's such a great card for this build. But before I dive too far into this and break it down in full, if you are new here on the channel and you find any value in today's content, if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, it is a free way to help support the channel. And I would really appreciate it. So with that being said, let's talk about the list, get into the gameplay footage, and we'll meet back here at the end for some final thoughts. So Blood Money Orzov, a list we've all seen. It's been tried and true. You see the eye twitches, you see the deadly disputes. You see the Shambling Ghast, you see the, the Loths, all of the same cards, right? Well, today we're playing it in a slightly different manner. Today we're streamline, streamlining the damage. We're trying to be more of like a, a mid-range, like a tempo consistent damage to the face type of a deck instead of a grind out, overvalue like your opponent, get more cards than them. We're going to be beating them down. This is a beat down deck and this is how it works. So we're, we're starting things off on turn two, right? We've got Professor Symbology, we've got... Uh, Tashiro, which is a very cool new enchantment, by the way. This thing is insane. You guys are going to see a huge, huge, just, I don't even know how to say it. This card, this card has changed the game, in my opinion, in this deck. Uh, the matchups are obviously very dependent upon how good this card can be. But if you run into mirror matchups, which you do a lot in the uh, arena because of the algorithm, you're going to be set because this thing does negative 1-1 one, one on target creature twice in a row on both of its first two sagas. Or you can plus two on your creatures and deal more damage if you have, you know, threats out there and your opponent doesn't. That's a that's a fairy tale land, right? But if your opponent does have creatures out there, you can minus one one and take care of their eye twitches, their shambling gas, their mono white usher, the fallens. You can take care of so many different creatures if they play a luminaric aspirant and they don't realize that they put the one one counter on their first creature to get more damage through you can take out their luminaric this thing is sweet and then you can also gain two life if you're slightly behind and ultimately this turns into a two three body to attack with which is pretty sweet i love this card you're going to see this card perform really really well for us uh we've also got right of oblivion a full package of this because we want to make sure our, our we're taking care of planeswalkers and enchantments things that are very important that need to be re removed off the battlefield we've also got redain another really good two three flyer vigilance creature that gives you that backside of the shield which you know we, we were going to rarely play that side but uh redain's really nice because it takes care of the snow mana being uh you know coming in on you know tapped and uh <clears throat> it's just vigilance it's damage over the top it's hard to deal with and uh if your opponent's running sweepers you're going to protect your board a little bit better full play set of wedding announcements for the one ones and as well as the uh pumped up you know this thing's a no-brainer in the deck right we've also got welcoming vampire this is going to be our card draw value engine almost every creature we have here that we've shown you so far is a two powered creature so uh welcoming vampire is going to be spitting out card draw like crazy we've got to play uh two two agadium's awakening because we have a really nice two three you know four drop creatures so we can bring back a lot of things with the the awakening in the late game the two planeswalkers we're running are the wandering emperor as a two of and soren of a three of these two together are going to be really nice plus they spit out two twos which are going to be uh you know triggering the welcoming vampires draw so that's really nice and then we have edgar of course like i just showed you and uh it pairs really well with all the vampires that we have and then we have the silver quill command another mvp of the deck this thing is really nice because not only are we going to be bringing back, let's say, our professor over and over again, we could also be giving our creatures 3 3 and flying for beatdown. We could draw cards with this thing and we can remove things off of our opponent's battlefield. This is by far one of the best commands in the game, but it just needs a very specific build around in order for it to be good. And I think this is the build for it, man. It's really, really nice. And then, of course, we have two Myriad's calls just for some really game ending finishing uh, combos. 
And then we went with two caves instead of the two hives. I believe the caves are just going to be a little bit easier to get the damage through. But you also got one silver quill campus as well. The sideboards as follows. We have two environmental scientists, two reduced to memory, two mascot exhibitions, and one confront the past. Ooh, that was a mouthful. Sorry, I don't know what scene I'm on. <laughs> Anyways, that's the deck breakdown, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, again, if you guys do like the video, don't forget to subscribe, like, all that good stuff. We'll meet you guys back here at the end for some final thoughts. Peace. All right, here we go. We are on our grind to diamond, baby. We are we are trying to to jump into diamond here today, and we're gonna do it with a with an Orzov list, uh, not the typical Orzov list you've seen. Uh, a little bit different. We're gonna be playing uh, more of like a tempo-y beatdown mid rangey type list. Not not gonna be playing a lot of these like little one ones like you saw our opponent just drop. We're gonna be doing more of a more shenanigans, which is which is always a lot of fun. And this is a new card uh, of of ours. Uh, we we chose to throw on the deck Kamigawa uh, Memory of Toshiro. This card is pretty cool, and we get a good matchup uh, and a good opponent for this particular enchantment. Let's go ahead and minus one one again on the eye twitch. I'm sure deadly disputes coming out, but. Still great value for free, you know what I'm saying? Free value in order to just minus the one one on the eye twitch and get rid of it. It's a good time. Alright. And we'll go straight into this. And we'll make it a little bit harder for our opponent here to cast their spells. Plus they're on snow mana, which means their lands are coming in tap now. Redane is gonna break our opponent in two here. Oh, they're Demir. Interesting. Still no blue mana to spend unless you're going to eat a treasure. So that should make things pretty interesting here. They go for an in sciences. Okay. And we get a wedding announcement. Interesting. Interesting. I think I'm going to go for the Edgar though. I think I'm going to go for the Edgar because like I said, Redain is down and Redain keeps them off of sweepers for a very long time. And it also makes their lands come in tapped. So we should be okay to just absolutely get aggro here and, and just smash their face. So that's the idea at least. Okay. Well, that makes things a little awkward. I can't lie. I can't lie. That's a little awkward. Um... I think I'm going to go with this, actually. Not sure how I wanted to do this, but I think this is just fine. And they don't counter it, which I, I get it. Because, like, that's a tough thing to do. Because, like, how are you going to counter that? Um... Let's go. Wedding announcement here. Oh, they scoop it up. It's over already. They've already given up. We uh we we took the life out of them instantly. I like that. GG's man. What a good game to start things off with. Man, I hope every game goes that easy. <laughs> we'll be in diamond in no time. Oh man, it's already halfway through the month. We got a, we got some grinding to do. I always I always say that because it's always true. I can only play this game, man, when I'm recording and stuff. So like, I wish I had more time to play this game and just grind out more. Just grind out my rank more and try to go for high mythic but unfortunately it's already halfway through the month and we're not even a diamond yet sad day we have a really solid starting hand by the way though very very happy with this hand uh let's go with the professor symbology to kick things off we could be seeing mono white which would be kind of cool because then the uh Chishiro will be really good uh we got plenty of land Grab some utility here. Grab some uh, exiling effects just in case. Uh, could be a Orzov list. And if it turns out to be Orzov, this could be pretty good. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. Um, I think I'm still going to play the Tashiro here. And we'll go for the life gain. And then... No attacks. 
but you know yes we will attack because we're not gonna block there's no shot we block that because we might uh want to ride of oblivion next turn on the voice of the blessed interesting to see a cleric's deck though i didn't expect to see a cleric's deck today Ooh, okay i can definitely reduce the memory on that i could also do this check this out check this out that's a good way to get rid of it great way to get rid of it actually and we will ride of oblivion you and get rid of you i like it i like it a lot that is a very clean clean battlefield and we can minus one one on the uh luminarch veteran next turn too oh that's so good that is so good okay never mind well which one are they going to take actually because that's wow i can kill the luminarch veteran they didn't take the right one i don't believe I don't believe you took the right one there, friend. Alright. I think I gotta get the vampire in. I need to get the card draw going. Plus, it's a big enough body to block the apparition. No problem. So, we drop that in. Play some defense. Get ready to draw a card when the, uh, when the uh, enchantment transforms. When this transforms into the 2-3 creature, I get a free card. So, that's a W for us there. Um, I could Ride of Oblivion, but I think... Ooh, okay. That makes things fun. Also an interesting card. Alright, let's go ahead and attack here. See what they want to do. Because they can only block with one creature. Would be happy to see him block with that creature, but they don't. Okay. So, in that case, I will play another one. Man, this card is doing work for us, huh? Um, I think I'd prefer to get rid of that. It's a little more dangerous when they get things like the Voice of the Blessed in. And then I'll play this as well. Seems fine to me. By the way, I still have a 2-3 body to block the Apparition with, so they can't even attack with that. We're off to a fantastic start. This is about as good of a start as you can ask for. Um, they might not want to do that. Yeah, that was a mistake because now I can minus one one on the Illuminarch. Such a good card. That is when you're talking about particular matchups like mono white. That is, this is such a good card. I think I'm just going to play this. Attack in here. And just say go. And just beat him down, man. Just beat them down. Keep drawing cards every turn. I like the uh, Field of Ruin here because they do have the cave, which I don't have a great answer for right now. So happy to get a Field of Ruin here. We got them on defense mode, it looks like. No, they're going to attack. Okay. They're going to try to race me with three damage. Free card. Nice. And there's the scoops. They finally figured out that it was not going their way. Yeah, we were going to attack all there. And then uh, we also had the awakening in hand now. So like, even if we lost creatures, we could just swing and bring them all back. Oh gosh. So good, man. This feels so clean. Feels kind of weird not having like Meat Hook Massacre sometimes in the, in the deck. But I think it's the right play, man. I really do. I think this deck is, is working really well together. Uh, yeah, we can keep this because the Professor Symbology is going to be able to grab us a Environmental Science, which should help a lot. Ooh, it's Selesnia. This might be a tough matchup, I can't lie. We'll see. We'll see. Selesnia scares me. I don't have a ton of removal. I, I mean, I do. I have, I mean, I do kind of have a ton of removal, but if they get too wide and have too many options with like Hollowed Haunting and stuff, I could get myself into some trouble here. Um, I think I'm going to go with the vampire. And just, I'm going to hope and pray that our opponent here doesn't cast another creature. I'm hoping that maybe they just go for runes here on top of the visitor. And then I can get it with the silver quill command. That would be the most ideal factor. Ooh, are we really going to get this? This could be really good for us, ladies and gentlemen. Especially, oh, come on. 
I was going to say, especially if they do one more there and then attack in, I could take a block with the symbology and get it right back. But this is fine too. This is a okay. All right, they lose their visitor. We get an emperor, which is pretty clutch. We're doing really well, guys. We are we are starting off this game really nicely. Uh, we need something though to take care of um, the Holland haunting if it comes in. That's the card that scares me the most. If I'm being honest. All right, easy turn for us there. I think I think that's about as best of a line as you could take there. Uh, we could have obviously held up the Wandering Emperor, but I prefer to hit my land drops and not stop missing those land drops. Very nice. Um, let's get in there. We draw a card off of the Wandering or the uh, the Wedding Announcement, and if I play this, it leaves me with three mana left over i think i'm gonna play this instead that way i can play the wandering emperor at instant speed and we'll probably need to get a reduced to memory just to take care of um those pesky enchantments like hollow haunting all right we're looking so good there's the scoop i was gonna say there is nothing our opponent can do at this point we have got this thing locked down and look at that ladies and gentlemen we made it to diamond we're there Let's get it. We did it with doors off, baby. Let's go. And we're in diamond. We're in diamond. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. Things are going to get serious now, though. We're going to get the try hard sweats now. All right. We get to go first. I like this. Nothing till wedding announcement feels bad, but going first makes it feel a little better. And there's my dogs barking, which means, <laughs> which means my food is here. I can't, I can't seem to do a video in this house ever without there being some sort of like loud anomaly happening in the background. <laughs> It'll be over in a moment, guys. It'll be over in a moment. <sighs> it's just the, it's just some pizza arriving at the door. Which means I'm taking a break after this, this game in particular. I'm gonna go eat that pizza, then I'll come right back. Oh, they apparition my wedding announcement. That's pretty brutal. I respect it though. I do respect it. Let's go ahead and play with the sword in here. Um, I think vanishing burst is in our future, which would be really bad. But uh, I gotta gamble on it here. I say let's gamble on it. I'm a gambling man. Nope. You should have played the odds. You should have played the odds and the odds were pointing in the direction of a vanishing, vanishing verse. Got another one though. Jokes on them. All right, I think I'm actually going to go for the beat down here. I think I'm going to go for the beat down play, which is to get the uh, vampire pumped up a little bit. Go over the top. Let's go. You want to, you want to try to tempo with me? Let's do it. Three damage every turn, gain three life every turn. You're not getting through my Edgar, so good luck with that. No instant speed, huh? No vanishing verse? That's too bad because I got another one of these bad boys coming in hot. Oh, this is over. Unless they find a meat hook massacre here or something like that, it's over. All right, let's draw a card. Yes, please. Nothing on Innistrad. I know I can keep attacking in here with this too, but I think I want to leave back protection for my planeswalker in case something weird happens. Uh, Ride of Oblivion seems like a good time, honestly. Seems like a pretty good time. I might I might regret that though, because that that does give them hey new subscriber. <laughs> That does give them actually a, a much better meat hook massacre here. They don't have to worry about giving me back any sort of like creatures or threats. So I might have opened myself up to a meat hook here. We'll see. Okay, they're just they're just angry and desperate. And they're just throwing out their creatures. It might be the meat hook. That might be why though. Meat hook for four. 
Oh, blood on the snow. Okay. I see, but still, why throw away? I mean, I guess that makes sense. You're going to sweep the board. Never mind. I'm, I'm silly. I don't know what I'm saying. All right. I like my hand a lot, though. This is... This is really good. All right. We go Professor... Let's grab the uh, mascot exhibition and go for the close here. Uh, we've got the Wandering Emperor that's going to flash in here and ruin their life. Okay, Apparition, sure. Ah, uh, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good choice right there. Like I said, though, we're going to ruin their life right now. I have to cast it now, though. That kind of stinks. Pretty good Thalia. I hope you're ready to lose. All right. Guards, to me. Let's plus and see what we hit here. We'll take it. We will take it. Um, 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 let's uh, let's kill you, sack you, which does open up the silver quill command. Let's draw a card and make them sacrifice a creature. I think we could do better than that, but it is what it is. I, it is what it is. I think it's a fine play. Oh, they're going to give up the apparition. Okay. Didn't expect that. Let's get in there. They're going to obviously block the professor. Sure. We're at 34 to their three. Obviously blood on the snow has got to be coming here. Otherwise they... Oh, I was going to say, otherwise they're going to scoop, but they don't. GG's. All right. Easy, easy peasy, man. We are actually running through people right now. This is, this is really nice. All right, here we go. I got pizza in the belly. I'm fresh. I'm ready to go, man. I'm ready to go. Let's get it. <clears throat> this deck's been doing really well for me. All right, we get to go first with the professor early. I like it. Let's do it. I like it. Let's do it. I really want to buy the uh, cosmetic for this uh, for the campuses, man. I rarely ever use them, but when I do, it's like, dang, they look so not the same as my other lands. <laughs> not too much info from our opponent here. Got a pretty much a default skin with no sleeves, huh? Not trying to give away a lot. Uh-oh, this beat hits hard. All right, guy, what's going on here? There we go. Let's get it. I like this card in this deck uh, for playability purposes, so it feels bad if I have to play it as a land, but it's okay. It's what it's there for. That's one, though, that I really kind of want to hang on to because it can really save us in the late game. <clears throat> So I've been kind of playing, uh, I, I always play games on Fridays with, with my friends and my brother and stuff. And, uh, and, um, lately we've, we've been trying to play Apex. So much fun. I'm kind of addicted. I can't lie. By the way, I don't think that was the play. I don't know why I did that. I think I got, my eyes got big because I love this card and I love how well it does for us. Actually, that's fine. If they want to do that, that's fine. We'll take the three here. Get the wedding announcement down and going. Hopefully we can find a land here off the top so we can get the Edgar in potentially. We'll see. This could be Orzov. It could be mono white. I'm not sure yet. The snow land almost guarantees that that is Orzov, but. Ooh, okay. Yes, please. Adeline is gone. It kind of stinks though, because I really would have liked the land there instead, but it's fine. It is what it is. <clears throat> A land and then casting our silver quill command would have been pretty clutch. 
Luminarch, okay. That's not good. Oh, they get to exile that from my graveyard. Double bad, man. That's double bad news. All right, let's go with... Uh, All right, either way, whichever creatures they decide to sacrifice here, that's really high value for us, even if it's the Luminarch. That's really decent value. <clears throat> Tough decision. It really is, because they've got the 4-3, which is a big creature and a big body, but you're talking about the Luminarch. Aspirant just gaining you the 1-1 counters every turn. And they keep the Luminarch. That's wild. Did not expect that. I really didn't expect that. If I can hit a if I can hit a land off the top here, I can go with the welcoming vampire and draw a card with the professor. That seems pretty good. Okay. Nice, we get the land. Vampire comes in, says, what's up? Drop the professor. Oh, the professor actually comes in as a 3-2. I forgot the wedding announcement actually already hit. So we don't actually get to draw the card, but we do get to reduce the memory, which allows us to kill the portable hole, which gets us back um, our Tashiro. If we want it, we might want to save this for a better target. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. All right. All right, this will at least get us some more card draw. So I'm okay with that. And I want to be careful not to cast two spells on a turn here because then it's just going to transform the... Uh, transform the old Brutal Cathar, which we can't have. All right. Maybe we do want to reduce the memory on the Brutal Cathar. Just so it doesn't have the opportunity to transform because if our opponent plays two spells which i'm sure they're going to at some point then we're in trouble so this has first strike by the way so should we just take it maybe nah we'll block with one we'll chump we will chump the wedding announcement really does kind of impede our welcoming vampire a little bit doesn't it kind of crazy All right, more white mana seems fine. We play this, we play the Redain. I'm okay with that exchange. <clears throat> Redain comes in, it does, a, it does make it to our opponent's lands do come in tapped, but it's a little late for that. They've already got so much mana, it's not even funny. Uh, let's do this. I want to be able to draw a card here, so we're going to attack with two. I would have drawn a card either way, I guess. But we do get an exchange off of that, which is pretty nice. Yeah, maybe attacking with just a vampire was smarter, because then I would have got the one one, which would have been a two two. And I would have drawn a card either way. So that's kind of a mistake. All right, the good news is, is they're going to keep putting one one counters on Brutal Cathar now. And we can kill the uh, Luminarch with the Tashiro. So that's pretty good. Yep, that's big, 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 big. Nice, and we top deck the nuts. Let's go. Okay. Dude, Silver Quill Command is so good. And I'm going to show you guys just why here in a second. Check this out. So Tashiro eats up the Luminarch. And then bada bing, bada boom. We draw a card. And... They sacrificed their only Brutal Cathar, giving us back our Welcoming Vampire. And that, my friends, is going to be a good game. Let's go! Let's freaking go, man. Look at that. GG's, dude. This might actually be one of the most busted cards I've ever played. This Tashira uh, enchantment. Obviously, it's dependent solely on your matchup, but when you have a good matchup with this card, it is so good, man. Good game.
Silver Quill Command, baby. What a card. What a card. With the right, with the right package. Such a good card. All right, what do we got here? Not the best of hands, but you know what? It'll do. It'll have to do for now. We're able to exile a bunch of their stuff, which is nice. Oh, it's another matchup with Orzov or Mono Black again. Interesting. It is Orzov. Okay. So another traditional Orzov deck against our non-traditional Orzov deck. Let's see how let's see how it fares. <clears throat> I definitely think the wedding announcement is a better play here, just so we have better targets for the Rite of Oblivion. Plus, this will probably get exiled with like a vanishing verse or Rite of Oblivion of their own. See now I'm glad I have the Rite of Oblivion ready to go. I don't like this though, just because it's kind of a waste of mana. Not a waste of mana, but just kind of like not the most optimal thing we could do with our mana. Ooh, okay. Is that a Soren? It's a pretty cool looking Soren. I can't lie. Pretty cool looking Soren. All right. Well, Soren, you gotta go. That's for sure. I'll take a card draw here for sure and uh, get a 2 2. Let's go. Nice. I'll take that. Professor Symbology. Underrated for sure. All right. They can't attack with their flyers now. That feels good. <clears throat> I'm sure we're going to see a deadly dispute come down for the eye twitch at some point, though, here. Uh, by the way, we exiled their grave or their uh, Soren, so it's not coming back. Dude, this is a really cool art. Why have I never seen this before? Yo, someone in the comments let me know where they got that skin for their, their card. That's pretty sweet. All right, we're going to go here and we're going to keep the mana pump in here. I'm going to go ahead and grab an environmental sciences. I have a feeling awaken is going to be pretty important here. Just have a feeling. It's just a hunch. All right, so I can attack with both to draw a card if I want to, uh, which sounds pretty cool, but not that cool. <laughs> not that cool. <clears throat> I think there's better things I can be doing. There's the village rights. Yep, I had a feeling that was coming in. I thought it'd be deadly dispute, but village rights makes sense. All right, so they got a necrotic fumes, probably for the vampire, I would assume. Yep, looks like it. Looks like it, which means their 2-3 can go over the top. Ouch. And it exiles my creature, which means I can't get it back with the Awakening. Alright. I think Redane has a place here for sure, and then uh, we can slap down the Edgar as well. There we go. All right. So now that they're, uh, the Redane's in, they're not going to be able to play their lands on tapped anymore. Unless of course it's a non snow land, but odds are it's going to be a snow land. Shamling gas. Okay. Four mana left over. It could be a Soren, which would be pretty bad, but I have Rite of Oblivion. So it's kind of hard to play a Soren into the fact that I have the Rite of Oblivion. What's nice too is Verdane has Vigilance. <clears throat> okay, more land. Not the greatest thing to see, but good enough so we can activate our land and get in for an attack here. 
field. Look how strong our field is, though. I mean, just take a look at this for a second. Like, that's crazy. All of our creatures who are normally 1-1s one -ones and 2-1s. Like, look at this. Nasty, man. Wedding announcements pump, uh, pump is just so good. Shambling gas makes a jump block, of course. They're going to eat the rest of that damage, which is quite a bit. It's a pretty good chunk. <clears throat> they still can't attack with the 2-3 into the Redain. If they do, we know that a sweeper's coming. Okay, they're highlighting, which means they probably got a right of oblivion here. I would assume. Is it right of oblivion? It's not, which means it's either a Blood Chief's Thirst or Meat Hook Massacre. Either way, they have enough to get all of my creatures dead either way. So the block is there. What's it going to be? It's one of those two. If it's Blood Chief's Thirst, they get back what? An eye twitch? It's Meat Hook, okay. They don't go for the Edgar. Interesting. Alright, I'm going to leave the mana open so I can drop a Wandering Emperor. In case something happens to my Edgar here. I don't think there will be anything that happens to Edgar, but you never know. Plus, I can activate my Field of Ruin for their Hive. Ugh. Okay. <clears throat> That's fine. For the sake of all that is fine. We have answers for that. You can deal with my I just think... Arguably, we have the better Orzhov list here, man. It just feels like a more streamlined, aggressive version of their deck, and I think it's just better. It just feels better, at least. Alright, we're gonna blow up their land. Seeing we have nothing left to do with our mana and it's there, so let's just use it. They dropped their own Wandering Emperor. Interesting. I'm home. Interesting. I think I'm okay with the Wandering Emperor more than I am with the Soren. This is what you get for hurting my people. All right, they definitely block here, obviously. Which means we get rid of their 2-3. Oh, uh, come on. Village rights, really? Dispute. They always have it. Okay. It is what it is. Uh, yep. I think I'm going to just keep all their Planeswalkers exiled. If I'm being honest, I think that might be the better play. Uh, let's just do it. Let's just do it. It doesn't feel great, but... It does feel nice for them not to have any board presence at all. And they don't have any lands. So this feels pretty good. Uh, one wedding announcement's annoying, but it is what it is. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good card. Especially when you're dealing in treasure. I like that. Um, and then if we play this, we can do what? Three, one, two, three. Nice, we can do the Agadium's Awakening for three. I like that a lot. All right. And now we've got some good creatures to put our 1-1 one -one counters on. That's fine if they Infernal Grasp that. I'm not... I wasn't going to get any value off of it anyways. Uh, view Battlefield. Nope. No Planeswalkers just yet. But I feel like it might come in handy down the road. Alright, we're going to put everything we have into this Redain. Because we want to try to avoid the Meat Hook Massacre. 
And if we can plus it enough times, we can avoid it. So that's the goal. That's the goal. All right, I Twitch comes back. No planeswalkers though. That's what that's what really matters here. Is there's no planeswalkers there. Three, six, seven. Yep. Let's go ahead and drop them. Mascot, easy peasy. Um. Yeah. Let's let's make the big boy even bigger. Let's make the big boy bigger boy. Oh come on, a Soren. Of course. I could kill the Soren with this. I could also just attack probably and kill it that way. That's also really nice too. Um, it's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you want to do this? Probably want to do this. Let your blade do the talking. Do this. Kill this takes away their ability to be pumped up by those one ones. So that's a lot of lot of value there. Um, no attacks just yet. I think we just try to protect our wandering emperor if we can. Even even if we can, we have to confront the past, so it's fine. All right, we are going to give them something here if we block the eye twitch. Okay, they leave me. They leave me the opportunity here. I'll take it. It's not ideal. It's not ideal at all, but it's good enough. All right, we'll plus that. get in there with you and let's just start let's just start the bleed man let's start the the, the life total bleed here um, they're probably gonna grab a mascot exhibition if I'm if I'm being honest I would figure that would be the case oh they're not they're gonna grab a confront the past even though their planeswalkers are all gone which means they plan on using that on my wandering emperor which is fine because I get it right back I could really use a sword of my own though I feel like I feel like our draws haven't been phenomenal I feel like a Soren would really help my case here a bit. And Edgar is really the only thing that I could get that would draw me cards with the vampire because we've already got the wedding announcement fully stocked. All right, they waste a turn taking care of that. Uh, let's get it right back. I'm not overconfident. You're just under the moon. Strike fast and over the strike. top for five. Feels pretty so uh pretty solid. They take it. Interesting. They take that. So they're they're planning on <clears throat> returning the, the, the power back to me with the three four flyer uh into my wandering emperor, I would imagine. Fine by me. I'm really uh, only using it for the plus advantage at the moment, so that's not bad. And then uh, I just attack in every turn for, you know, six, seven damage. Like, this is going to get really good for us. But, I mean, obviously they have two cards in hand. Vanishing Verse would be pretty bad. Oh, no, you're kidding. You're kidding. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Not a bad pull right there. That's nice. That is nice. All right, let's draw a card. Let's get back Professor Symbology. Nice, it's a Soren. You love to see it. 
We'd love to see it. This is finally going to allow us to get a bit of life gain going here, which is what we really, really are thirsty for at the moment, is we got to get some life gain. Oh, what a top deck, man. What a Soren. Dude, Silver Quill Command for the win again. So nice. All right, let's go here. Show them how we greet our enemies. Let's get that damage, man. Let's get that damage. I'm so in for this damage. Let's go. We'll take five. Five life gain. Nice. Play the vampire. A plus. Uh, sure. I can take that. I could take three for that. We just gained five, so might as well take the three for that. Let's go, baby. We we win those, man. We win those. Talk about a grind fest. Holy cow. Dude, what a game. GG. And that's going to do it for today's gameplay footage, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And I really appreciate you watching this video, especially all the way to this point. We're going to break down the deck. But before I do, I want to say a huge shout out to everyone who's made it this far. You guys have no idea how much you guys are helping the algorithm here on YouTube and pushing my videos out to more people. So thank you so much for that. I really do appreciate you for that. With that being said, let's talk about the list. I am so happy with how it performed. I think this thing is a threat for real. Like, honestly, I think this thing is a threat. It is very, very good. It has some really great matchups and uh, it doesn't really have a bad matchup. Um, even if we played against control, you know, if we're spinning out all this value over and over and eventually getting a wedding announcement in all of our creatures, you saw how big our threats are. Like even our, our smallest one ones coming in for two twos and just everything is getting pumped across the board when we're talking about Edgar pumping the vampires, wedding announcement, pumping everything up. We're a very aggressive list and, uh, and not just aggressive, but we have so much value there with the vampire drawing us cards. You saw you guys seen how many cards we got off the vampire it was so good for us we did run into a the slight problem that when the wedding announcement does actually pump the team it becomes harder to draw cards then we're we're always going to be relying on the edgar's coffin side to spit out one ones in order for us to draw cards so there is a slight disadvantage when you get the uh welcoming vampire and your board's already established with like full you know three three tick wedding festivities like this thing is going to kind of ruin that card draw synergy but you saw how much it, it, it didn't really affect us right like it, it did but it didn't like we were still able to beat our opponents down and there's still a lot of value there to be had um ultimately i think it's not that much of a of a downside if i'm being honest um i think the deck ran phenomenally i typically will always have one maybe two suggestions for you guys on how to make the deck a little bit better I personally don't see it here. I think that where I have it currently is very, very good. And I, I think everything has a really good place here. And there's not a whole lot of things that don't synergize very well. The only card I think that kind of felt a little awkward, but even though it felt awkward, still had its moments was Amiria's Call. Amiria's Call uh, doesn't quite fit the synergies as well as everything else, but it still throws down those angels for some extra beatdown, man and it does have its moments like um if you are going to cut something and maybe make some adjustments amirius call might be that play and maybe add uh you know a couple more spells but if you cut that you're going to maybe screw up your land because we've only got 22 lands here so having these four lands here is kind of important so if you are going to cut amirius call maybe add some more lands that do things more double-sided uh lands maybe hagger mauling for some removal or whatever it may be but um, ultimately, I think the deck's in a really good spot. I'm very happy with it. One card I would try to squeeze in here, and I think you can get a lot of value out of, would be um, would be Kaya. Kaya would be a really nasty addition to this deck, and I think you can get away with a, a lot with her. Um, you might want to maybe switch out another Planeswalker for Kaya, maybe like the uh, Wandering Emperor. I think the Wandering Emperor has less of a place in the deck than Soren does. But Kaya, I feel like if you can get this down and you can put 1-1 counters on things or these ghost form counters on your creatures, it could get really ugly for your opponent. But at the same time, you are spinning out a lot of tokens. So you're not going to get the same kind of value out of Kaya as that you'd, you want to see. But it is a card that if you do get 1-1 counter, you know, the ghost form counters on your vampire, your Redanes, your professors, your, your Toshiros, it could get pretty wild. So 
that is a suggestion that I would try to say, maybe try to get squeezed in there and let me know how that experiment goes. I would love to hear your thoughts on how that went down. But um, ultimately, I'm going to leave the deck how it is. And I hope you guys enjoyed what we have here for you today. If you have any ideas on how to make it better, please leave it in the comments down below. I would really appreciate it. It helps the algorithm as well. And I would like to read all of those. So if you wouldn't mind dropping your thoughts down below, that would be great. And uh, lastly, before I hop out of here, we do have a stream tonight. Uh, we're going live. So if you guys want to come check that out, we're probably going to be grinding the ladder a little bit. And uh, huge shout out as always to the Marty Mob, man. Thank you guys so much for everything you guys do. All the support, all the love. All your monthly memberships go so, so far here on the channel. So thank you so much. I want to show my love to you guys. As always, if you guys somehow don't see, you know, this message and this is your first time seeing it and you're part of the Marty Mob, I like to say thank you every single video just to make sure you guys know how much you really mean to me and how much your support goes, you know, such a far way here on the channel. So if you guys want to become part of the Marty Mob and join the membership today, you can hit the join button down below or the link in the description. It'll teach you and learn. you can learn more about it there. But uh yeah, guys, that's going to do it. I hope you guys appreciate the video and we'll see you guys on the next one on Friday. If not, we'll see you on a live stream tonight. Yeah. Till then, peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit up three times like a hat trick. The name is Fizzy, no Patrick. Yeah, yeah. If you play him, then it's tragic. Hit him with the mythic. Yeah, that's magic. Yeah. Ooh. MTG, that's what you'll see if you like and subscribe. Where's the upload, man? Uh, man, all of the time. Coming with the best decks, the meta. This ain't cheap, yeah.